So for today, we're going to be looking at the Chroma Cloak set for the classes. If you guys know, the Chroma Cloak set is the Season Pass armor. And I got a lot to, a lot of things to say about this armor. I am particularly not the biggest fan of this armor just because of a few things that we will be talking about later. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. But... First, I want to explain a few things. Um, if you guys want to check out just the armor, I have a time a timestamp for that, so just go to that instead. But real quick, um, for those who are wondering if I'm going to do a video on the new Solstice armor, I am going to be doing an armor video for that and all the the things that I usually do for that. The reason I bring it up is because <clears throat> I'm currently trying to unlock the armor, and. For those of you who are getting the armor as well, do not unlock the glow, the white glow specifically, because that overrides the base look. So as of right now, uh, August 10th, fuck, I didn't call my mom. It doesn't matter. Um, as of yet, we can't uh, transmog just the base look because the white glow over overlaps that. So if you are wondering, like, don't do it. Uh, hopefully Bungie fixes that because i know that was a problem with one of the i think last year's or the year before that was a problem that they had so hopefully they fix that because i think the armor base look is really cool and we'll talk about it when we get the armor but yeah that is pretty much it let's get into it so to start off we're going to be looking at the chroma cloak set for the hunters and i will just tell you off the bat i don't like this armor specifically because shadering this armor is an absolute nightmare and i know some people are going to be like no i like it because of so and so it doesn't really matter to me because first and foremost, if an armor set doesn't shader well, that really limits the usage of this set. Now, I will be making a class specific video for all the classes because really, honestly, thank the Warlocks for that because I ended up using three of their pieces for sets that were unrelated with this set, with this armor set. So I was like, fuck it, I'll try to make a cool set with it for all the classes and I ended up doing it but <clears throat> I didn't end up using a lot of the same shaders and a lot of the same techniques so that way the armor looked decent so yeah that's like my biggest issue with this armor is just the fact that a shader is really terrible and for those of you who aren't wondering like what what is it it's the fact that there's like a rainbow sheen on all of the pieces that don't change color there's a fact that like the actual armor piece the plate armor has like a blue sheen to it that doesn't change color as well which is why you have to use specific shaders because those specific shaders actually cover up all of the armor and ignore that blue steel color um, there's some glows that don't change color, specifically the arms for the hunters that purple glow and the glow on the face don't change color. And yeah, there's just a bunch of issues with this armor set. So that's why I'm not the biggest fan of it. Not only that, but the, like the design of the armor is very distinct to the point where like, there's only like two or three armor sets that go really go with it. Um, now granted that's like super like you can ignore that and try to do something else that fits your style but at the same time like for me I, if i see this armor set i'm going to want to combine it with armor other armor sets that have that same look at least because if i combine this with like a tactical set it's going to look kind of stupid so that's kind of where i'm coming from as for our shaders i'm just going to show you the shaders right here <clears throat> again like i said i have a big issue with this armor set just specifically on why how it shaders because you guys will just notice that there's certain things that look really weird. Ancient Wisdom has like the blue feathers on on the cloak, which is really weird because Ancient Wisdom has no blue whatsoever. So that's like one thing. Um, there's other weird things as well, like specifically, like specifically Abyssinian Gold has like a purple o overglow, but it's the armor itself. It's not the actual shader. So again, there's just so many issues with this armor when it comes to shadering that specifically like your if you want to shader this your best bet is going to your best bet is going to to use like a very bright shader or a shader that just goes over the uh armor and changes it completely and even then some shaders might not do that job well like I, for example i know dreaming spectrum does not do a good job at that which is really weird because dreaming spectrum is one of those shaders that will just combine everything into one color so yeah let me know what you guys think about this and before I actually go to the next class, let me just specifically say for the hunters, I actually really like the cloak. I think that's pretty cool. This is the weird part is that I actually like a lot of these pieces aside from the boots. I think the boots are a little weird. I think it's the shoes. I think the shoes are just a little bit too weird. I think the arms are a little too skinny, specifically on the shoulders, but the chest piece is super dope. I think the cloak is super dope and I think the helmet has its uses as well. So like overall, I actually do like the armor. It's just really annoying that the shadering is just absolutely terrible. Probably one of the worst shadering. No, I, I want to say that, but like 
the um the uh armor the taken king armor set from uh ghost of the deep is pretty up there as well as, but i do think the chroma cloak is worse just because there really isn't a lot you can do with this shader wise at least with the taken king sets there is shaders that you could u utilize that will actually make the armor better or just turn off the glows so at least the taken king set is work like you can work around it a lot this one it's like it's harder to work around let me just say that as for the titans i We'll talk about the pieces I'd like first. First and foremost, I think the chest piece is interesting. I think the arms are pretty cool. I think the helmet is really, really cool. It's just the fact that it doesn't go well with this chest piece because it's just the chest piece I feel is a little too small for the helmet. If the if the chest piece had like more work in, in the shoulders and in the back and didn't make it look like you just have a big ass head, but the chest piece actually looked bigger, I think it would have been way better. I think the arms are cool. I think the boots are interesting, but not my style. And I think the mark is pretty cool. Overall, I genuinely do think this armor set looks cool. My only problem is just the fact that a shader is really terrible. As for how it shaders, let's just look at that real quick. Again, like I said, it's going to shader the same as the tight or the hunters. So a lot of the pieces that you think is going to shader some way doesn't like specifically the boots have this red sheen to it. The the arms specifically the feathers has a purple in there. The same thing with the mark and that's not even talking about the glow the pink glow that doesn't change color like it's just and the glow the rainbow glow that goes around underneath the armor like overall shader wise the worst armor sets in the world i'm not even kidding like <clears throat> i understand like as an artist you want to have like your distinct like oh this is my thing but that's and that's the thing is like i don't even know if that's a th actually i just noticed that the titans for the male and the world or the male and the female don't have the same coloring specifically that like red glow for the boots pretty much for all of the armor does it's not there so that's a little weird but yeah overall i i don't know let me know what you guys think about how it shaders in the comments below and then last but not least we have the warlocks which funnily enough i think got the best pieces from the whole class or from the whole classes like i think the helmet is dope i think the chest piece is amazing i think the arms are decent and i say decent because they're pretty big um i think the boots are really cool and i think the bond is kind of on the boring side but like overall there, that's three pieces where i genuinely am like those are cool which is funny considering i ended up using the helmet and the chest piece for the sets that i made and that's when i was like you know what let me just try to make a set for all the classes and that's why you guys ended up getting class specific videos so really thank the warlocks for that because i the chest piece and the helmet i think are fucking amazing like legitimately with some of the, my favorite pieces um that being said for the shadering it's the same issue um you guys will just notice that it just shaders fucking weird bro and again same thing as the male titans is there's some pieces that don't share the same coloring specifically the arms do not have like specific like the male titan or the male warlocks have that like green like green steel but the females have that or like red orange steel there so it's kind of weird that they don't shader the same that being said it's not the biggest deal for me actually the boots have the same thing but they're inverted so the horns on the feet for the males have that like green steel and then the females have the red steel but it's reversed the like top of the foot has that red for the males and then the green steel for yeah it's really weird that they don't take take the same shaders uh, the helmet has the same problem as well it's so weird i don't know let me know what you guys think but it's yeah i just <clears throat> i i really wish <clears throat> i really wish we had the choice of turning stuff on and off and this is when it comes to well like when my head goes to like warframe warframe the fashion of Warframe is just magnus mag magnificent. It's absolutely amazing. I would say it's the best shadering system that I've ever played with because you can pretty much change almost everything, if not everything, if I remember correctly. So when I see Destiny 2, it just makes me kind of laugh because um, it's pretty terrible. And like, it's not even like Destiny 2 is not even like the greatest when it comes to like anything like a lot of the transmog in destiny 2 is like pretty lackluster because the shadering system for warframe is the best but when i when i think of like the collections like armor pieces final fantasy 14 has to be the best one in my opinion um just because the sheer amount of pieces we could hold and i want to do i really do want to do a deep dive of like the fashions of each of the games that i play but that's such a fat video that i would have to do and honestly as much as I like, you know what? I might do it just because I really want to showcase just how bad Destiny 2's fashion really is compared to like other games. Because, like, 
other games have it so much better. Like, I think the only game that's, like, not worse, but, like, kind of the same would be, like, World of Warcraft fashion. And even then, like, there's, there's, a, and I, I'm, I'm rating Final, or, uh, World of Warcraft fashion lower because <clears throat> you can't change the glow or the colors of World of Warcraft's armor. So that's why I level it that way. But you can also, I don't know. I don't, I want to make that video, but let me know what you guys think. Yeah, this is the end of the video, obviously. So let me know what you guys think about the armor itself. I apologize that I went to a huge tangent about just talking about other games, but I really do want to make that video just because it'll be interesting to see like the different fashions and whatnot, because I do think as cool as Destiny 2's fashion can be at times, it really does not compare to like Warframe's uh, fashion when it comes to like changing the colors of everything the skins everything about that game is just really crazy or final fantasy 14s where it's where it goes to like the amount of armor in that game is absolutely wild like to the point where it's like casual to warrior to techno to like so many things and the fact that we could hold like what is it 800 pieces of armor and again each each character that you, that you have in final fantasy 14 has a choice of like a bunch of classes because it's not like destiny 2 where you have each each class has its own character one character in final fantasy 14 has the ability to be any class it wants so it's really really awesome so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point I, again i apologize for the tangents but it's been a while since i made a video so that was i yeah it tends to happen so appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later